welcome to this episode of the Cajun Conservative Show, where we talk about life, we talk about liberty, and yes, we talk about the pursuit of happiness, and we show you, the audience, and the world that us Cajuns do have intelligence. Hope you're having a great day, a great end of your week. Uh, it, <laughs> I, I, I'm starting to sound like a broken record. Unfortunately, I couldn't get into the studio the last couple of days, but I am back. Hopefully, you know, I, I, I can get everything lined up. I'm trying, I'm going to try some new stuff, and... I'm still committed to trying to do something every day. Uh, Sometimes it's just hard. As you can see, I'm already in my work uniform. And as you know, I record this in the mornings. And uh, I haven't even had my cup of coffee yet. But that's okay. I love coming and spending time with you guys. And I believe I have a topic that's going to that's gonna set your hair on fire, as they say. Because um, it, it's a juicy one. But uh, please remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. Also, check out my socials on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok and um, really wherever you get um, wherever you get your your shows from or, you know, I'm on locals. I'm on all I'm all on local platform, all the social platforms and also on almost every podcast platform and video form in YouTube and Rumble. And uh, please go ahead and uh, check them all out. If you know this is your first time listening, hope you subscribe, hope you follow and I hope you like the content. All right. So uh, uh, this report came out earlier this week and this video was taken uh about two weeks ago and look before we before we start on the topic i want i want to say this i I, you know for all you left-leaning people that listen to this show i understand things happen on the basketball court i understand things happen on the football field i understand and when i say things i'm talking about injuries look if it is a contact sport, nine out of ten, you're gonna have injuries on the field. I played slow pitch softball for five years and had a brief stint back uh, about you know about a year and a half ago. I played and I've seen in slow pitch softball things happen. Um, one memory I have is a good friend of mine running to second and they had this 17 year old 17 18 year old boy out of high school. And we were playing co-ed. So, so you might ask, well, why you had a girl on your team? This was all co-ed. There were special rules for the girls, special rules for the guys. Um, but this guy was trying to get out at second, threw a dart at second base, missed second base, and hit my good friend in the head. Now, no, no intention to the guy. The little guy was just playing ball. He, his instinct was to you know, think he was playing baseball and he shot the ball down and hit her in the head, gave her a goose egg of a, uh, of a lump on her head. And she had to go to the hospital. I've seen, you know, ambulance show up at the baseball field when we had a tournament all day. I even yours truly, I was dehydrated one game and I had to sit, uh, sit down for the rest of the game thinking I could still play this game, but it was just, it was just too hot. So I know in sports, Stuff like that's going to happen, okay? There's no ifs, there's no buts about it. Injuries is going to injuries are going to happen, but there is things in sports that you can do to prevent it. Not like not like letting a six foot something male play against female in basketball. This is where I'm coming to. Like I said, this report came out earlier. In the week, a high school girls basketball team ended in a forfeit at halftime after three girls suffered injury in a matchup against a team that reportedly included a male player who is six feet tall and has facial hair. This is from the Daily Caller. Uh, Not the Daily Caller, Daily Wire. The coach of the Massachusetts high school team, Collegiate Charter School of Lowell, ended the game early against Cap Academy after a number of injuries a press release from this charter school says alighting uh, alighting to the school's commitment to uh, uh, to continue supporting and commitment to inclusiveness and safety. Um, what happened was the team was already um, the, the 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 bench was pretty short. I think they only had twelve players, and before halftime, three of their players went down. And it was all done by the same player, the six foot identifying as a girl male with facial hair. Um, When the third injury happened, uh, the coach said, look, at halftime, we're done. Now, now there, there are, they are into 
they, they're trying to get into the playoffs. So he used the excuse, well, we're trying to get into the playoffs. I'm trying to keep my team healthy for the playoffs. So we're going to go ahead and pull back. Everybody, we all know why that coach forfeited that game, okay? I, I'm, I'm sorry if I – and look, the coach should have went out and said, listen, this is unfair. You have a six-foot green bean giant with facial hair. Now, when I first heard of this story, and it's funny how I'm pulling this from the Daily Wire – um, I thought about Matt Walsh. I, look, I never watch the Lady Ballers. I I, I don't have the, the, the Daily Wire Plus, and so I, I haven't I haven't got the chance to watch uh, Lady Ballers. Um, I did watch What Is a Woman that was produced and uh, hosted by Matt Walsh. R- real good movie. I got a chance to watch that, but I, I never got a chance to watch Lady Ballers. But I, I seen a clip and it was. Well, it wasn't just Matt Walsh. It was all almost all the cast of Lady Ballers. All, almost all these men that were women in the show that were playing and they, they playing basketball and they all had facial hair. And, and I, I thought about this. It, it's Lady Ballers playing out in front of us. It's Lady Ballers playing out. You have a biological male playing basketball now that's bad don't get me wrong that is bad that is that is wrong but i i, I want to talk to you about the school's response the school added that it supports the coach's decision to call the game notably emphasizing its commitment to inclusive and equality so they're saying they support this the school that was they that that their their players think about this their players were they, they they got injured they got injured because of this six foot green bearded green giant and look there's a video there's a video uh riley Gaines, the the activist for women's sports who is getting crucified by the left if you remember back in the early days back when leftists had a mind they would support. They would have supported Riley Gaines in this effort. No, now they're, they're criticizing her. Being a woman activist, the left is criticizing. But Riley Gaines put a video, and I seen the video of this 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 girl with facial hair, which is really a biological male. Take the girl, try to get the ball, and throw her on the ground. And the poor girl is on the ground in pain. And but the school says, "Hey, we're committed to this." This isn't Massachusetts, by the way. I'm just saying. But we're glad the coach talked about equality, inclusiveness. We're glad he brought that out because it shows our commitment. This is wrong on so many levels. Now, the charter school supported the decision. Uh, and it reiterated its values of both inclusiveness and safety for all the students. And recently added, we take the standards set by the MIAA and our board of trustees seriously and strive to up hold them on and off the court. We also follow the guidelines from MIAA and state laws regarding equality and access for all student athletes. Listen, I'm not against, you know, equality and state laws for to keep the student at least safe and to help all, to have access to all student at least. But if you have a girl basketball team, an all girl basketball team, and a boy that probably could not play basketball on the boy's side to save his life, now like he has the height, but basketball is a lot more than just height. You know. It, 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 look, I know, I know a person right now that, that that's tall. Everybody look at him. Oh, you're a good basketball player. No, it, he wasn't. Not to pick on my friend, but I'm just, I'm just saying. He he even comes tell me I ain't a basketball player. Now he played basketball in high school, but I promise you, he's not going to college. You can have height, but you you you're not good. So you have an option. Hey, quit the sport and try something else or nowadays you can say i'm a female and go play against girls this is wrong on so many and look, like i said I, I could not imagine myself okay i cannot and look, look, i know i'm a conservative and I, i'm a southerner i'm a cajun 
I couldn't imagine myself sucking at a at a at a game and saying, "Hmm, I I, I stink at this game. I stink. I, I shouldn't." You know what? I'm gonna go say I'm a girl, and I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and and, and play basketball or soccer, whatever. Now, if it's co-ed league, I'm I'm all for that. Okay, like I said, I'm not against co-ed where boys and girls play together on the on a soccer field or a basketball court. I'm not against that. But when you have an all-girls team and you have one the, the average height of these girls, if you look at the video, maybe five foot, and you have this tall green bean jo- oh I, I, you said height don't matter. Yeah, but strength does. And I wish I could pull up the video because you can if you watch the video, this dude is pushing this girl to the ground and hurting her. She's in pain. But the school and the coach, oh, we're 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 for equality. Inclu- we're inclusive. We want this to happen. No, this is wrong. And I'm sorry. I know I'm going to get some people that are going to watch this and say, oh, this is a dogmatic, homophobic, stupid, sudden Cajun man. Well, at least have enough common sense to say this is wrong. And you know what? Look, look, going back to the school's response. And like I said, if I was a coach, I would come out and say, you know what? I'm forfeiting because of this. This is wrong. Now, I would have lost my job the next day because, again, Massachusetts. But, you know, in Florida, Louisiana, and all, uh, almost all the other southern states, you don't have this problem. Why? Because they have made laws that have said you, they, they have, that, that said you can't do this. Now, I, all the coach had to do is say, look, this is wrong. But not to offend the elite, not to offend the left. We're, we're standing for equality. We're standing for inclusiveness. We're standing. You just had three three of your players hurt. Now, what what about the girls? Okay, now th- th- and look. Every time I talk about a subject like this, you have to wonder about the other player. What do these girls think about this? Because look, look, we already know Riley Gaines's take on this. Riley, who is Riley Gaines? By the way, if you ever heard of the name, Riley Gaines was the one was the the true winner of the NCAA swimming meet, girls swimming meet. But you had a biological male say he was a female, and look, this is proven. He stunk. He, I think, before he got into the girls bracket, he was ranked four hundred and eighty something on the list for swimmers. He was not making a career at this. He wasn't going to be a swimmer, and he still isn't a swimmer. Now, people say, oh, Isaac, you missed that. You missed genderize him. No, I didn't misgenderize him. If you come, if you, if you, if you, if they look between your legs and that's, that's the, that's the way we tell boys and girls. And they look at it and say, oh, this is a boy. When you're born with that, you, you're a boy. If you're not born with it, you're not a boy. You're a girl. And he, he 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 stunk. So he said, "Look, I'm I identify as a woman. I want to swim on the women's meet. Went on the women's side and dominated. Now he lost a couple of matches, and that's what. Oh, you see, it don't make no difference. The dude became a champion in the women's division. Like I said, to me, that's embarrassing. You can't hold it with your own, so you're gonna go ahead to a, a lesser." You know, that, that's like me being a, a fighter and me being a, meaning a certain weight can't win, but go back to a, go back a couple and dominate. So that's that's who Riley Gaines is. Riley Gaines, when, when she lost that meet, she became a woman's activist and she said, listen, this is wrong. And she has been crucified ever since by the left. Oh, you're not inclusive. You're not you're not you're not preaching equality. But Riley Gaines said, look, she said, you know how weird it was to be changing in a locker room with a dude? And when, when the question came out, came out, like, I'm asking, well, what about the girls? Oh, the girl, the girl, if the girl don't like it, they can go to another locker room. Why does the girl has to suffer? 
And look, every time something like this happens, I'm asking, besides Riley Gaines, I'm asking where's all the left-leaning women activists? Where's the view on this? Where is the view talking about a, 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 a girls' basketball team being dominated by a six-foot boy? Well, I think there's four of the players. This dude was six foot tall. They would try to make a shot unless it was a three-pointer or a four-two-pointer. He was blocking everything at the goal. Where are you at, women activists? I'm asking the question again. Where are you at? And you know what's sad? Look, left and right. Don't. I'm going to say this. There were some women activists out there. They, they, they fought tooth and nail. What about the women that wanted to vote? They're probably turning over in their graves right now. Because girls say we're not comfortable with this. And all you get is the left and some and some weirdo wackos say, well, you should go to, if you're not comfortable, go to another locker room or quit the team. The narrative of the, it, it, it is absurd. It is wrong. And this is something we need to stop. But, you know, it won't stop. Especially in blue states like California, or Massachusetts, uh, it, it won't stop. Why? Because they're, uh, I don't want to say they're, yeah, they're deceived. Because they honestly think that a boy that feels he's not a boy can say he's a girl and can play in a girl's sport and it's not going to, it's not going to affect the team. Like I said, the six foot dude w w threw this girl down like she was a twig. And look, I, I'm going to say it like this. If the co look, if, if my coach would have came out and, and said, you know what, my girls are hurt, it's because of this guy. It was all because of this guy right here. We we, we don't think this is right. You need we need to get him out of the league. Instead of saying, that, well, we 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 support inclusiveness and e equality. If I was a ball player, I would have said, you know what, heck on this, I'm leaving. Or I'd ask my parents, hey, get me to another school. It's it's sad it's sad that 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 state lawmakers in Massachusetts is doing this. This is wrong on so many levels. But that's okay. You know, you, if you if you're a boy and you feel you're a girl, you can play on a girl's sport. But don't be a Christian standing in a in a, in a, in a hallway saying Jesus loves you at an abortion clinic. You're gonna go to jail. Our country is backwards, and we need to pray that the Lord does something with this nation. And I'm not talking about judgment. I'm talking about revival. It's scary that, that I have to come over a microphone and talk about a boy playing on a girl's basketball team. Like I said, I just, and look, props to Daily Choir. Go check them out. Great, great company. Great conservative uh, podcasters out there. Um, but lady ballers. <laughs> That's all I can say. Lady ballers live in, in reality. Because this this is what it is, and you know a lot of people. Oh, that 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 movie's sexist. No, it's not sexist. It's showing a reality that we're living in today. That a male can say I'm I I stink. And look, I don't know. He maybe never played basketball. And he wanted to play with the girls. I don't know. But if he was a basketball player before and he stunk, hey, let's go to just be a female. And you, 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 can be, you can be a champion. It's, it, it's wrong, but that's how the world we are. That's how it is today, unfortunately. All right. With that being said, that will wrap up this episode of the Cajun Conservative Show. Again, thank you for listening to this episode. I'm, I'm glad to be able to spend some time with you here today. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And go ahead and tell a friend. Go ahead and share it on your socials. Go ahead and... Um, Check out our affiliate marketers at the bottom. That helps me out more than you know. Uh, give a derm, great uh, dermatology company, great skincare company that really cares about you and wants your skin to be healthy. And the, the, their their product does not hold any toxins or chemicals, so it don't hurt your skin. You know, I, I was surprised when I heard this, that when you apply something on your skin, it's in your bloodstream within 30 seconds. So you put 
creams or you put lotions and if there's toxins and chemicals that that means your toxins those toxins and chemicals are going in your skin so don't avoid that just go ahead and go to give a derm and let that give a derm uh give you some good product well not <laughs> offer you some good products now you could get a discount if you use my promo code bgs media 10 on the website that is in the description also hair club you know hair club hair loss is one of the biggest problems in america today uh i think 55 percent of men have it and 50 percent of women also have problems with hair loss but guess what hair club is there to help you just go ahead and hit the link meet with one of their consultants use the promo code bgs media 10 and you go ahead and get special discounts and bargains all right with that being said until next time be blessed be encouraged remember jesus christ is king he's coming back and he's coming back soon so don't be afraid of heart jesus has overcome the world as always if you want to know jesus as your lord and savior please reach out to me i'll tell you how to meet jesus your savior in heaven your home until next time be blessed be encouraged you have a good one